What's up guys, Sam Wild here from Guitar Legend. We're looking at Dance Monkey today. You are going to need the capo on fret number two. All right, we only have four chords. We have E minor, C, D major, which I recommend playing with the first finger barred, just like the diagram shows, because then it's easier to go into the last chord, which is B minor. Now, whilst the chords do say the same, there are a few different rhythms we need to learn for the different sections. So let's go through the whole song section by section and then there's a play along at the end of the video which I recommend you playing along to me trying to do the whole song. So the first part we have is the intro. All right. For each chord we're going to strum all the strings and then only hit the high notes after that like this. Okay, so start with E minor, all right? Remember, try and keep this uh, hand, okay, the strumming hand, get the side of it, the palm of it, just resting on the strings because that way it sounds soft. Okay, dun, 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 dun. Now it's very hard to change chords as quickly as the piano does when we're on the guitar because we, the piano can just sort of shift the hand over, it's much easier for the piano in the song. So if you want to make it easier, you can skip one of the strums. So we go one and two and three and four, one and two and three and four, one and two and three and four, one and two and three and four. Okay, so again, for each chord, do all of the chord on the first strum, and then the other strums can just do the kind of the higher strings. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and. So for B minor, it actually cuts short. One and two and three and. So we do the last strum on three and for B minor. So let's try and do this whole thing together. Pause the video first, practice this on your own before you try playing along with me. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and. All right, that is the intro. Now you can add one more down to the four and. Okay, that makes it harder though because you have to change chord quicker. So watch, this is what it would sound like. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and. Okay, so it just means changing chords quicker. That's for a more advanced player. If you're newer, don't add that strumming. All right, the verse part. Now this works for verse one and verse two. Okay, so we're covering two parts here. Um, basically, we're going to do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, down, up, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, down, up. So it's down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down. Okay, and we do this for each chord. Now, you don't have to add that final down, up right at the end there, the down, up at the end. You don't have to do that. Okay, that's again a more of an advanced thing. So it's down, 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 down. Now my advice is to be changing chords when it gets to that last, that final down up part. That is the time when you change chords. So watch carefully. I go down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, down. So you can see I'm kind of changing on that in that down up section, right? Don't try and change in a split second, right? Give yourself that down up time space. Okay, now should you be palm muting here? Well, maybe, maybe not. The important thing is we want it to sound but 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 we don't want it to sound like this. Makes sense. We don't want it to sound all loud and smooth in this section. It's kind of stoppy starty, ba 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 ba, because it's a piano sound. Okay. So the way we can imitate that is by palm muting, or we can essentially strum and then bring the hand in. So you turn the wrist inwards and you block off the strings every strum.
That makes sense. So you do strum, hand against the string, strum, hand against the string, strum. Da, 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 and da. Okay, it's all in this hand. You can also pulse the fingers here to make it more, especially on that bar chord. Okay, if you kind of pulse the fingers in every time you strum and then you release the pressure, that also helps the stop starty thing. Okay, so there's a few options here. The easiest one is to just palm mute. One, two, three, one, two. Now really try and emphasize, I put a little accent there. Try and emphasize the down, 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 down. So you kind of strum a little harder on those ones. So listen. That makes sense. Now we do this twice. And then D is a long, and B minor is a long one. Okay. So we go through the chords twice, E minor, C, D, B minor. The second time we do E minor, C, and then we have one strum on the last D, one strum on the last B minor. So let me just play that last line. B, two, three, four, B minor, two, two, I see you, see you, see you every time. Okay, it takes us into the pre-chorus. All right, so that is the verse part. Let's just quickly do it together after four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. Second time. Then long D major, then long B minor. Pre chorus. Pre chorus is slightly different because we're going to just have down, 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 up, down, 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 up. Down, 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 up, and so on. So with the chords, it sounds like this. Down, 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 up. Down, 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 up. Down, 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 up. And again, we do this twice. And on the B minor, we just do the up, and then we stop. So the hard part about this section is changing chords on the up, you already have to change by the up. So watch closely. If I do this slowly, down, 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 up. All right, I've changed in time for that up. Okay. Okay. I've typed this out just so it makes more sense. You can see it on the screen here. Okay. The trick is just don't worry about changing quickly. Okay. Just change when you need to. So you can play down, 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 down. Be changing. As long as you're still getting that rhythmic sound, it kind of works. The other thing I do, I go one and two and three and four and and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Okay, I add these just emphasized hits, right? So I'm basically my hand is resting on the strings when I do this one, so it's almost like a palm mute. And the pick is also going through the string quite hard. So. Okay, I put a little uh, asterisk star sign just so you know where to do those. If you want, again, that's just an option, guys. That's an ad more an advanced thing. You don't have to add that slap in, right? As long as you're doing one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, up, and two, and three, and four, and up, and two, and three, and four, and up, and two, and three, and. All right, let's try and do this together after four. We'll do it a little slower as well. One, two, Three and four and one and two and 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 three and four and one 
and two and three and four and four and two and three and four and oh oh dance for me dance for me dance for me oh 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 then we come into the chorus right so we've learned the verse which works verse one verse two we've learned pre-chorus which works pre-chorus one pre-chorus two now we have the chorus part okay for the chorus have a look at this rhythm here okay this is very ongoing and flowy okay so we start with down down up slap down down up slap just try that down down up slap keep it nice and simple for now three four down down up slap down 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 up slap remember the slap you just hitting the strings like that okay there's no doesn't have to be a chord or a strum it's just you're kind of going down and into the strings as your pick goes through all right so down down a slap and again we have down down a slap okay now we're going to add on bear in mind that on the slap your pick goes through we're going to go up down up afterwards so down down a slap up down up down, down, up, slap, up, down, up. Down, down, up, slap, up, down, up. Down, down, up, slap, up, down, up. If you need to, do this really slow. You can go down, down, up, slap, up, down, up. One, two, three, four. Down, down, up, slap, up, down, up. Whatever helps you get this. Down, down, up, slap, up, down, up. Okay, it's just repetition, just doing it again and again until it makes more sense. Okay, that's the first half of the rhythm. The second half, I, you can do the same thing if you want. I tend to make it more flowy, so I'll play down, up, down, up, slap, up, down, up. So I feel that gap. Okay, so down, down, up, slap, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, slap, up, down, up, down, down, up, slap, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, slap, up, down, up. Okay, now the best thing for you to do at this stage, if this is hard, is to just practice going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Don't even have a chord. So just keep it really simple. Just practice this rhythm, just so you get that down, up, 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 down. Okay, because that is the basis of the whole rhythm, right? All I'm doing is. I'm just adding a hit in the middle of it, really. It's the same thing, down, up, 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 down, up. Okay, and that's what works for the chorus. And then you try and change chords. Dance for me, dance for me, dance for me, whoa, oh, oh. And then we go back into verse two, all right? So we've got the verse rhythm now, the pre-chorus rhythm and the chorus rhythm, okay? Just like any other pop song, we're gonna do this all over again. Another verse, another pre-chorus, and another a second chorus, okay? Now after the second chorus, we do go into a loud chorus, okay? We also finish the whole song on a loud chorus too, so this is pretty much one final rhythm we have to learn, okay? Now if you're in a rush, you can just use the rhythm I've already shown you for the chorus, okay? But personally, I like to do a more adapted version when it gets louder, okay? So just, so, just to clarify, we have verse, pre-chorus, chorus. Then we have another verse, pre-chorus, chorus. And then there's just another chorus which gets louder. So this is the part I'm talking about, okay? So for this part, the rhythm can be Up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, 
up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, 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 up. Okay, so I've kind of blended the pre-chorus rhythm that we've already learned. I've blended that with the already learnt chorus rhythm. So the two rhythms, I've blended them together to make this bigger sounding strumming pattern. All right, so obviously the first chord we're going to have to start slightly differently because we have to start on the beat. So we start with down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, 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 up. Okay, it takes us into the, the bridge part as well. So this rhythm is really cool, I actually love it. It, it does work for every chorus, but it, it just sounds a bit too intense for the first two choruses. Okay, but from this point on, this is the chorus rhythm you need to play, all right? So after this kind of, the, this chorus we have, chorus three, if you like, there's that breakdown part, all right, that goes, For this part, just keep it simple. Just do one strum, tap, tap, one strum, tap, tap, one strum, tap, tap, one strum, tap. And then we can have the, the pre-chorus. Oh, oh, dance for me, dance for me, dance for me, whoa, oh, oh. Okay, we dive straight into a big chorus. So again, just to clarify, for the bridge, we start with one strum for each chord with two taps. Okay, that's the first half of it. The second half, we do the pre-chorus rhythm. Down, 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 up. Down, 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 up. Down, 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 up. Then the last chorus, nice and loud. Dance for me, dance for me, dance for me, whoa. If you're looking for the next big challenge, then sign up to my premium membership website. You'll gain access to my backing tracks and all of my lessons. I teach you improvisation, soloing, advanced chords, theory, and techniques. All right, enjoy the rest of your lesson, guys. So that's every section. It's time for you to try and play with me in the play along that's coming up, okay? I appreciate these rhythms are actually really difficult, okay? So, just try it really hard and just feel the music, okay? You don't have to do the exact rhythm that I'm doing, okay? My rhythms are just suggestions, okay? This song's played on the piano, so it's hard to sort of imitate on the guitar, okay? But really just practice getting those different techniques down. So that strum and then touching the strings. Okay, and being able to change chords quickly as well and getting the down and the ups in the right place. Just do that really slowly and it just takes time, okay? You just have to do it 20, 30, 50, 100 times before it starts to feel more natural and then you can groove along to the music a bit better, okay? So please don't be disheartened if you struggle with these rhythm, rhythms, just take your time with them, okay? Now, for those of you that want to learn how to play the melody on the guitar, dance for me, dance for me, dance for me, whoa. Okay, there's going to be a tab that comes up in the play along during the chorus. So just have a look at the tab. You can always pause the video. Okay, and it's just about listening to the way she sings it. Okay, and just trying to play the way she sings it.
All right, that's it from me, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please like this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell button icon, and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next lesson.